Welcome back to Sip the Teller Films, and I'm your host, Coach Evans, and today's video is on how Lamar affects the run game without actually running the ball. So let's dive right into it. Let's go. All right, welcome back to the channel. And if this is your first time here and you like the content, please like the video. Uh, subscribe if you want to be here when we drop any other random content throughout this offseason. Uh, training camp's headed toward the end of this month, so you know make sure you're locked in for when all the news and highlights and film breakdown come through. Uh, but let's get into the Lamar Jackson, how he affects the run game without actually running the ball. All right, let's let it play through first, and, and then we'll kind of come back and talk about it. Obviously, this first game is against the Chiefs. The other two games I used was against the Vikings and against the Raiders, which were the Ravens' three biggest running games of 2021. And really what you want to do is focus on the, the people holding the backside down. So let's bag it up. You're nicely run by Tyson on the outside zone. So really, we want to want to focus on this guy, this guy, and this guy, because they can easily you know get over top and get in the fit once they see the action going that way. All right. So your 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 Mike linebacker flow is obviously going this way. You got your your zone blocks by this person. You got the Lamar turning his back to him. You got Tyson headed that way. Flo is actually going that way. He had moved because he still got to check on eight. He had moved because he still got to check on eight. All right, this backside, even though he's getting blocked, he really ain't trying to get downhill or nothing. He's just making sure if Lamar boots, he got outside contain. Now you look at Sorison, number 49. He's just looking at, you know, the quarterback, waiting on boot also because he, you know, with Flo going that way, he could easily get over top two. But he can't because they got to worry about that dude coming out there doing that. Now look at him. You got that guy who's really a C gap player. Sorison still looking at Lamar. And then you got your linebacker that ain't moved yet when the flow is obviously going in this direction. Now, because he didn't move, you got hat on a hat, hat on a hat, hat on a hat. He he beat his man, but because of the 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 quickness of, of Williams, he can get outside and turn that up. Now, what I will say is, if this was a non-mobile quarterback, he would have been over here at this point, probably, you know, back back gapping Tyson. And when he turned up, he had been right there to hit him in the mouth. But because it's Lamar, he had to kind of stay. That's the lane that Tyson gets right there. Versus the Chiefs again. Let it run through. Again, watch the attention paid to Lamar. Nice run by, by Devontae. And again, Devontae did a great job of helping us out last year. Look at all the attention going to Lamar. Watch this guy, this guy, and this guy. They're just going to try to attack the match point. Man, look at that. He's face to face. He's face to face. He's not an issue because Ricard gonna kick him out. Look at the alley he got. Because these two had the, uh, they attacked eight. I don't know if it was in a game plan or they chose to do it or that was you know their strategy for the week. Again, this is that's how he affects the run game without actually running the ball. Because of the threat. All right, next play. Still versus the Chiefs. You get a little outside zone. Get a nice run by Tyson, who did a great job running the ball early in the year until he got in the doghouse. Let's look at the guys. You know, let's look at. I think Sorison is the key on this one. Watch Sorison. Go up, pulled, and he's kind of in there as a linebacker. And you know, if linebacker, most linebackers, they read the guards. Go up, pulls. You scrape over top. That's one of one of the basic linebacker rules. Even though he's a safety, he's in the linebacker role right now. Go out pool. He didn't move. Eyes straight on Lamar. Can't go nowhere. Eyes straight on Lamar. Eyes straight on Lamar. 
Now, because, you know, when guard pulls, he normally would scrape over top. Most linebackers would. But because of Lamar Jackson, he can't scrape over the top. And now, if he scrapes over the top, he falls right in there to make that tackle. But because he has to honor this cat, look at that. Look at the alley he got. And even though he still makes the tackle, it's 12, 13, 15 yards down the field. Again, affecting the run game without running the ball. Now we on to the Vikings. Nice like run by Devontae. Now watch all the attention paid to, uh, pay to eight. Right there. Right there. And 54. There's no pull. There's no puller. Ricard's going across, so 54 may be following Ricard on that. But you also got these guys pulling too. Again, we just talked about linebackers reading the pullers. So you got... I, no, Zeitler doesn't pull on this. Does Zeitler pull? Nope. You got Tyree pulling. You got Tyree pulling. And then, but you got Ricard going that way. So they, he's basically giving them a cross read. But both of them react to Ricard. They both act to Ricard. Because they know if... If they know... On this dive, if they if Lamar keeps it, he's following record. So now you got one, two, three, four guys out here for record and potentially Lamar Jackson. So on, look on your backside. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six versus three on the backside. And then he creates a numbers mismatch. Because you got you got these four guys worried about recording Lamar. And you got these six guys blocking for the running back. Look at that hole. Because your linebacker's out of position. Worry about Lamar. Again, affecting the run game without running the ball. Again, versus the Vikings. And I ain't going to let this one play through, but watch. It's, it's a short yardage situation, obviously. These cats. If it's short yardage and you got all this mass in there, why you got these extra guys out here? You could you could have slid him in. You could have let uh, this DB go up mark or this DB go up mark. So watch them. They wait on the boot. All three of them wait on the boot. They wait on the boot. And because they not in here helping out on the interior runs, look at Lil Bell. Just finally crease. And get this short yardage. It was like third and one or fourth and one, something like that. But because you got to worry about Lamar booting out or doing something with his legs, you got these two guys out here. Well, I do that wrong. These two guys out here basically doing nothing. What are they doing? What is he doing? What is he doing? Nothing. Nothing. I'm saying thing on the other side now that I see it. What is he doing? What is he doing? Nothing. All the beef is in here, and you got four guys out the way. And five went with, when you take the guy that's going with uh, Andrews. Getting a threat of him affecting the run game. I bumped down to the Raiders game early in the year. Not a great run, but I just want to show you what they do backside. I just want to show you what they did backside. Watch Abrams and Ngagwe, uh, Yannick Ngagwe, and maybe even 42. But definitely watch Jonathan Abrams, 24. Flow was away, had moved. A little slide shuffle, but really had moved because he know, they got to be aware of him doing that. Ball out. Still really hadn't turned it on to go get into play. Now, Lamar fake boots. He kind of stopped. Just to check. Shuffle, shuffle. Stop. Just to check. Realize it. He ain't got it. Now he tries to go get into play. So that's an extra body. Not in there. That's Because he got C-gap. So you really can't, contain, can't ask for him. So let's not count him. You got one. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Versus our seven. And you really must got a head on the head, except for these two right here. They got out ran. But he's going to get a kick out right there. Good block by Duvernay. Sammy on the guy. And Tyson hits it right there. You know, tell he got some uh, defenders. So you're losing the extra guy because you got to worry about the, the backside. And that's not as egregious as the other ones, but still, it's, it's, it goes, it falls within the same thing. Raiders again. Tyson benefited a lot from the, from the potential Lamar running the ball. 
Look, hold on, let me find it. This guy, I think his name is Littleton. This guy, watch him. You getting dive, you getting dive action, and they flying out, they flying over here. Nobody pulled, at least I don't think nobody pulled. Ricard's going, you know, Ricard's going, but he always doing something. Nobody pulled, and they flying over there to keep Lamar, you know, from getting outside. Who pulled? Nobody. Now look at that. Simply because he worried about eight getting outside, he worried about eight getting outside. It's crazy. But the thing is, when he do decide to run, this is why they got to be worried about it. So now you got the wide view. You got the wide view. Chris Jones does not respect Lamar, so he crashes down. This back don't get over top. He kind of works the, the the play side like most linebackers do. And now Lamar gonna make him pay because they didn't, you know, put somebody out here to, to make sure I don't keep on on run. Now look at the numbers I got. One, one, one for one. So the only person that can even make the tackle unless these guys miss a block is this person, and he better take a good angle. Or this safety coming down. And I don't know if these three going to miss a block or not, but let's see. Crazy. So that that's why <laughs> those people do the things they do. And that's how Lamar affects the run game even when he don't run. Because when you don't respect his running ability, he does that to you. And this was only like a 15, 20-yard game. He can hit you for 60, 70, 80 at any point. So, you know, this is my two cents on how Lamar Jackson affects the run game without actually – running the ball and you see the effects when they don't respect him what he can do with the ball so if you like this content please hit the like button uh subscribe if you're new uh share it with your group chats your friends or whoever and uh hit the bell so you can be notified when these random videos drop i appreciate you guys for coming through this is coach evans with sip the tally films and um you could have been anywhere in the world but you chose to be here with me peace with the